used a little more cowbell. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and before we get into the video I just want to briefly mention my latest blog post. It is a 3,000 word essay, if you will, on how to recruit to your particular offensive scheme. Instead of kind of breaking down the 40 plus different offenses that I could come up with, I decided to break down each offensive position and the attributes slash ratings that are relevant to each position and then within that I kind of talk about certain offenses that really emphasize that particular attribute or rating. So make sure you check that out. Again, as usual, the link in the description is the link is in the description below. And do not forget to subscribe to the newsletter. It's free. It just gives you a heads up on every new blog post. Or if you're one of those who likes to go to the website every day to look up stuff, make sure you do that because, you know, several days ago I added 21 game manuals to the site as well. So a lot of good stuff's happening in the Playbook Gamer arena. So I'm looking forward to what's to come with all that. Now, back to Mississippi State Dynasty. In the last video, we took on UCLA, not UCLA, UNLV, and had no issues with them whatsoever. It was the exact opposite of our first game against Texas A&M, which that was a humdinger. That was a game and a half. And UNLV came here. We had... Uh, no issues with them. So we'll see what happens today as we take on UCLA. Now, UCLA was ranked like in the top 25, but they're starting off the season 0-2, so who knows what the deal is there. We could check this right here. Look at their stats. They're not doing anything well outside of their run defense is pretty good. We'll put that to the test today. They still got a little more talent than we do, but for whatever reason, they're just not playing well. Probably injuries, if I had to guess, or maybe they just front load of their schedule. They do run a West Coast type offense. They run a little bit more than usual. I think it was a 58-42 split on the run pass ratio and they are a 4-3 team. So I checked that out on the scouting report. Again, that is on the website. Okay, let's go to recruiting. That should have uh, helped us the last win. It looks like we're seeing a bunch. Oh, we got a, a down arrow from one kid. We took off points off one prospect last game, last video. Let's see what we're going to do here. James Small, one of the few natural defensive ends that I'll go after. We're in a good spot. Looks like it's us in Tennessee and LSU, perhaps, and no negative pitch, so we'll continue to go after him. Next up is a cornerback, Clint Thomas. Looks like Florida's way ahead of all of us, but we made the top five. And we do have a positive pitch, so we're going to go all the way with this kid until he decides to commit elsewhere. Next up is another corner, Marcus Hampton, out of Lake Charles, Louisiana. We're in good shape here. We're pretty much in second place. We're technically tied for first with LSU, but we don't know anything about him, but there's no deck in pitch, so we're going to continue to go after him. Brad Howard, he's the one I'm excited about the most. A little quarterback out of Waynesboro, Mississippi. It's like it's us, Tennessee, and LSU for this kid. No negative pitch. So we'll continue to go after him. Looks like we went up for Danny Charles, a strong safety, out of Irwin, Tennessee. I want to pick up Tennessee kids because I want to turn it to a pipeline. And it looks like we are in good shape for this kid. Just keep putting points on him. We'll be okay. Now we went down for this kid, David Fox, local wide receiver. We're at the very bottom of the list. He apparently just does not like us. And we got a negative pitch. That even makes it easier for us to just take points off of him. It's unfortunate, but there's no point going after that kid. And we got another corner. As you know, our secondary is our weakest unit on the team. So we're loading up on safeties and corners and such, especially at corner. Mark Williams, another in-state kid. We're in good shape here. Second place for now. No negative pitch. So we'll continue to go after him. And here's another strong safety, Richard Jenkins. We're kind of staying put. We're towards the bottom. We'll see. He'll probably take us out of the... We probably won't get in his top five. Eventually, he'll make up his mind on that. But I'll continue to put points on him, but for whatever reason, he can't make up his mind on anybody yet. And that is it. So I'm going to go ahead. We are down to, what, four, five, six, seven guys. So what I'm going to do is... 
put two points on everybody. And I'm going to leave the 12 points here for Jenkins. If, if he takes us off, then we'll use his points on the other guys. So, looks like we are down to seven players. Pretty much all defensive players. We got a quarterback. We took the points off the receiver. So, otherwise, I like where we're at recruiting. Now, you got to remember, we got, if nobody leaves early, transfers or whatever, we got 60 players coming back. So, I don't really need to get a bunch of players from end season. I don't have a whole lot of scholarships to give out in the off season. So, we're going to put a lot of our points in the off season in training and hopefully not as much in discipline. Hopefully, we can get that bar down some more throughout the season. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Top 25 bowl, polls. There is our true freshman, Wesley Brown, having a good season so far. Let's see. Mississippi State's right there, 13. Let's go to Heisman Watch. Georgia, Wisconsin, Florida. We're going to go up against this kid right here, quarterback Brian Cruz. We got Florida on the schedule, what, in a few weeks? We could check that here in a minute. Players of the week, I don't really care. Conference standings, we haven't played any conference games yet. So I think we're ready to go. As you see, the front cover, Tennessee, Hatfields and McCoys taking on Florida. LaMarcus Coker, it's a shame he couldn't even finish his career at Tennessee. Had a lot of issues. I'm not going to get into it, but he had some issues. But either way, hopefully Tennessee can beat Florida. Okay, as I said, we can look at our schedule real quick. At Auburn, Auburn was ranked preseason, and they've lost the game, and they are out of the top 25. Vanderbilt, LSU's 2-0. I figured they'd have a bit of a turnaround. Then there's the mighty Florida Gators. Can't wait to play them. At Kentucky, Alabama, Arkansas, then gosh, we got to beat Ole Miss this year. You got, if you're going to win any games, if you're a Mississippi State coach, you got to beat Ole Miss. So hopefully we could do that this year. We couldn't do it last season. Okay, let's get into playing UCLA. Another home game. Then we got two straight road games at Auburn, at Vanderbilt. Then we got a bye week. Then we're headed right to the real meat of the schedule. Okay, nobody's in trouble, what I can tell. McCoy, if you remember, he got hurt like the last drive or so before the game. It just, if hopefully Bradley could just hang on for a couple more weeks. If he gets hurt, then we're really in trouble because our depth at quarterback is not that great beyond the, our second guy. And he's out, so. Looks like they got a guard out, 80 overall. We can check the preview. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach. Lee Corso and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. Another pretty day for some football. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the UCLA Bruins and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. The wind is really high. If it's excitement really you're strong. looking for, well, you've come to the right place as the early college football season continues. And here come the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs seem to have the better team. They should win this game. What do you think, Kirk? Mississippi State. Eric Bradley. A couple interceptions. He doesn't have the best arm in the world, but he's definitely doing his part with the offense this year. He's doing his job. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. Picking the Bulldogs. Okay. That's a big tackle or 65, a guard or whoever. And looks like we are getting the ball first. All right, let's check out their roster. Starting quarterback Brian Rosano, he can't run, so we're going to go after that guy. Javon Coleman, not a whole lot of halfback. Decent little fullback, but I don't expect too much from him. True sophomore full, that's not bad, 84. They don't have any, where are the impact guys? They may have an impact tight end or something. Decent little receiving core, 92, 92, 91. They got speed out wide. There's an impact guy. Logan Paulson, redshirt senior, 93 overall, 84 speed. I'm sure he can catch. So yes, and his backup isn't bad either. 85 overall, 76 speed. You can do some damage with those tight ends. So we're going to see a lot of this kid today, I'm sure. Let's see, 82... This kid is out, so they're back up. It's not going to be a humongous drop-off. Look how big this kid is right here. He's not playing today, but 6'7", 
374 pounds. I don't know what the heaviest player I've seen in this game. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody close to 400, but I guess it's possible. I mean, this guy's getting close. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, he's their center. That's a really tall center. 6'7", 3'14", 93 over, overall. Arguably, maybe the top center in the country. Not much of a right guard, but he's a true freshman. And a true freshman right tackle, so their right side of the line is very young. And look at this big kid, 6'8", 339. Jeez, monster. I'd love to have that kid as my true freshman right tackle. All right, they run a 4'3", 78 and 78, not a whole lot on the ends. Decent little defensive tackle group, 84, 82. This guy's got 72 speed for a 300-pounder. That's not bad. Wow, he's a true sophomore, 84 overall. That's pretty good. The highest you can ever find a freshman when you recruit is an 84 overall. I've never seen anybody above an 84. So if you find an 84 overall true freshman, then you found the Golden Goose. Linebackers, they got Ryan McKinney, arguably one of the top offensive or offense, top outside linebackers in the country. He's real big. He's fast. We're going to see a lot of him today. 88 at middle linebacker, first team all pack 10. And the one little weakness in the linebacker unit is the right outside linebacker. Corners, 82, 82, 78. Oh, this kid's got some 98 speed. Whew. That's my ideal corner right there. Tall, fast. Would love to have him. True sophomore, 84 overall. And 89, first team all pack 10. A.J. Hampton, strong safety. They got a really good kicker and a terrible punter, true freshman. So the only thing I'm thinking is we may spread them out a little bit more. I don't know. I kind of want to keep this kid on the field as well. So we'll just run our normal stuff. I'm trying to see what their weakest unit could be. Maybe I can force them into it a little. But I'm not going to be a little too worried about that. All right. Let's get this show on the road. I'll let that one go. Can't do a whole lot up the middle on those six. On the return game, at least. Let's do a triple from two back slot. Going man 4 3. He goes Spread it out. Really makes game plan him. He a nose for the Let's just go this way with Jenkins. Great play out of the gate. We can look at this. That linebacker didn't follow him. I guess he may have been in a spy look or something. That's a good start to the game, though. Let's go with... Let's do basic speed. We're going man 4-3. They're shifting that way. We'll probably just go left. Get about five yards with Brown. Uh, let's do a QB choice. If I can find it. They're going man 4-3. They're running a lot of 4-3. I want to... Uh, let's hit this off. Uh, let's get the first down. Just enough. Okay, let's go here and let's throw the ball. I want to go a slot cross. This is one of our RPRs. We're going zone. They got their linebacker at defensive end. Going with the shotgun here. Let's bring him over. Bradley set to go to the air. Looking. And it's a good play. I couldn't get it off in time. Just good defense. They really pounded him on that throw. They sure did, but somehow we got rid of the football. Bradley just went fast enough, and they're bringing both inside corners. I may. Bradley, adjust the play at the line. Please bring both safeties. And they're going to do that. We're going to go to guard high. I'm going to have to take this over. Ah, good defense. I should have probably let that one do his thing. I did, probably didn't need to take that one over. All right, we are on the 36. This may be two down territory for me. So let's go with direct. We're going zone nickel. I'm a big fan That's of that shift. In a four wide set. Good block there. And we're going to pick up big gain right here. First down. 
Good play, Wesley Brown. This kid's going to be a stud for us. I think he's going to break some records. If I don't – if he gets the ball more, he could do that. But, again, I'm kind of evening out my – my carries amongst other running backs this year. Let's get another guy over here. That's good defense. Just came right on through. Let's do speed from Gun Ace. We're going man nickel. We'll probably go to our left. We'll go to our left. That's good defense, you know. What do you do? Uh, third and seven. Let's go with a P. Reed. Hmm. Let's go P. Reed. We're going zone. I may just have to dump this. Let's see. Bradley, back in the gun. Throws off his back foot. He spins around. That's just good defense. I didn't. Just good play on their part. We can kick a field goal. Next time I'll probably go the gun spread version of that. I have a little extra option or two on with zone. He gets it up. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna do the bails on the field goals only for touchdowns. Well, something's better than nothing. So let's get on defense and see how we handle their attack. And it's a short kickoff. Turner fields it at the 13. Uh-oh. He's still going. There we go. Okay. I think they're going to throw more than pass, even though their default was a they like to run more. It all depends on their impact, guys. But they may run a lot. We'll see. Nope, they're going to throw. He still caught that. Did you see him put my hand up there? Look at this right here. I still get my hand up, and he... Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's go. Let's take a chance on a zone blitz. A second or two, I can see him running it. But don't run up the middle. And let's do this. The Bruin. Line up with three wide. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws this one out to the left. Good play there by the corner. So now it's third and two. Um, I'm going to do a one high. I can see him maybe running this. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 41. I'm not a big fan of. Let's do that. There we go. I like that a little bit better. Oh, thank the Lord that was a bad throw. He was wide open. I was out of position big time. Very fortunate there. Okay, let's get the ball back. That was a perfect play call, just a bad throw. Had the tight end on the wheel. We may have a chance to do something. Not a whole lot. All right, we're on the left hash. Trying to think here. Let's go. Let's do QB choice. Zone nickel. The bulldog. Come out in the shotgun. Bradley. And he's taken down. Got some yards, not a whole lot. We're kind of in the middle of the field, so we can try deep cross up. We're going man four to three, so I may audible to my run play. Changes the play at the line. Yeah. Big dog, big dog. I got the passing version of it instead of the running version. Oh, good block there. Just take it with you. Pick up the first. We can stay here and we can try speed. Then we'll get back to going to Wesley Brand if we can. They're going zone 4 3. We're shifting that way. Mississippi State comes out. Pick up the first with Bradley. Let's go back here and let's try the double running back play. Zone 4-3. Good block there. 
Good block there by Nicholas. We didn't get the first. Second and one. Let's go P.A. Reed. I've had some bad luck with this play, but it had it on my mind, so we're going to call it. They're going man nickel, and they're spreading out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Ooh, no, 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 no. Mm, that's good coverage. I thought he wasn't going to come over. That guy came over. That's perfect pursuit by that defensive, or that safety, I guess. Third and one. Let's go direct. Third and one coming up. They're going this nickel. Ball a little worried about this. Line. Doing that. Looks like we got to go left. Didn't get it. Uh, I'm going to go for it. I don't mind going for it, so let's do it. We're going zone 4 to 3. Shifting that way. Good protection here. Big play, big play. I decided to go left. I motioned, since they were going zone, I motioned my Z receiver over to get an extra blocker. Looks like he picked up somebody. Did he? Uh, he didn't have to really get anybody. He got it. It was fine. We had good blocking everywhere, though. All right, the drive is still alive. We are on the, what, 16-yard line? Let's go. Let's do QB choice here. Good chance I'll just hand it off. Man, 4-3. Ooh. I may... Oh, no. That could have been a disaster. I probably should have moved that tight end over. That's okay. All right, we're on the 20. I don't know if I have enough room to do deep cross up. We're going man, so that actually simplifies my thinking. So we'll just hand this off. Get a first down with Nicholas. And we were going to go here. We're going to use our new run play. Our QB option give gives us the extra blocker. We're going to try this on goal line. Now they got everybody and their brother on... It's even. They got the impact guy over there, though. Good block there. Touchdown. Yeah, we'll take it. Crazy drive. Had to go for it on fourth down, but we made it work. Good little play. I just kind of read it here. We can look. Good blocking in the grand scheme of things. Our right tackle got pushed back a little bit, but good block by Jenkins on. Their impact linebacker. That's why I picked that play. It gives us that extra guy to block. And then at this point, just kind of going around. Good block by Nicholas. Pick up six points. All right, let's kick an extra point. Quarter's about over with. Ooh, that's close. All right, 10 to nothing. Good start, good quarter. Let's get back on defense. Their first drive, they were moving the ball. Then we got a stop on them, so we still don't know a whole lot about them yet. This is a short kick. I'm going to continue to run a lot of zone. I just fully expect them to throw the ball. I'm going to go off the edge this time. Good block there. Oh, that mm, could have been picked. We'll go quarters at a nickel. They're going with ace bunch. Get him, get him, get him. All right, third and ten. We'll go with Cloud. Cover six. Third and nine. Let's see if we can do some damage on this cat. Their weakness is their right, right side. Eh, both sides are. Yeah, their right side's the weakest. I think they got those freshmen over there. Ooh, just enough. It was a good throw, but he got a hand on it just in time. 
does that, he better be ready to make okay. a tackle. They'll pick him off if he's not careful. Let's get the ball back. Try to score again. UCLA lining up the they got some of their best players out there. You see their linebacker, their tight end. Sutherland gets it off. Mm, let's go this Thomas way. The right, we are on the right hash. Let's go here and run triple. We're going doing that. Um, I may just. It's two. That was an interesting play. I didn't know what to really do here. I have the numbers on the left side, but their linebacker, I pretty much treat him as two players, <laughs> to be honest. So I'm like, let me just hand this off. I was actually reading this backside defensive end, which is probably what you need to do in this off in this particular play. Uh, I was able to get around. Thankfully, he's slow. He should have got me right there, but he's slow. Wesley Brand, that kid's going to be awesome for me. An eight-yard gain. All right. It's a good quarter. We'll take it. Let's see. We're on second and two. Let's do a direct with Tereshinsky. Their linebacker's on that side, so that's good. Let's see if we can just pick up a first down here. Good blocking there all around. Oh, and a, I had that. Ooh, we got very lucky here. That was technically a face mask. You see right here. I wonder if that is actually a face mask or not. Yeah, that's a face mask, but they never call it if you fumble it. We got very lucky if the ball went out of bounds, though. I would like to go here and let's do slot cross. I never run this version of it. Or going man, I'm going to leave it as is. He's coming down. I'll probably just go to Nicholas. Oh, I just overthrew it. That was six points. He had just enough. He had a little pick play up top, too. Look at this. Oh. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he so misses, tough. Let's do speed option to make up for it. It's going down. zone it nickel. Go. To We're going to go to our right. Mm, that probably wasn't the best idea to pitch it there. So what it is what? We're on the 37. This is two down territory for me, so let's just run the ball one more time before we got to go for it on fourth. We're going zone nickel. Mississippi State lines up in Bring this guy over. Get an extra blocker. Wesley Brown. All right, let's go play action off of that. Let's go here and let's do P.A. Reed again. We're going zone. We're going nickel. I'm going to throw it. But I'll probably just... I don't trust Bradley on the deep ball against cover two. So we're just going to go... That's good defense. Just good coverage. Well, neither quarterback is playing well. <laughs> one for five, one for six. He does his best to knock the ball down. Let's go with, uh, let's do speed option since we were behind a little. We're going zone 4-3. And they're shifting that way. Uh, just, uh, I didn't want to pitch it. I figured I'd probably fumble it. I didn't want to do it. So let's go. Uh, we can try halfback corner from here. Uh, they're going man. If we want the first down, we're going to have to go to somebody on the right. The bulldog set up in the gun. Brad but eh, it's good defense. I got somebody got to me. That defensive, that linebacker, knocked down my right tackle. Couldn't get it off in time. So where are we? We're on the 28. I don't know if my kicker can make that. So I'm just going to go for it. Huh. I don't trust my kicker. I just really don't. Let's go tight end cross. We're going zone. That's a straight on kick. I don't know where the wind is at either. Remember, the wind's really messed up too. Nice. He went cover two. I went to my best player. That's why I called the play. Post works good against Banner Zone. By far his best throw of the day. So we are on the five. They'll probably go goal line on us. 
Let's go to QB option give. It looks like they're going man. He. I wonder what happened if we flip it. Nope. They. I didn't know if the linebackers flipped this way. It looks like they did. We'll go here. Good touchdown. They went man. I motion Nicholas over. We just got good blocking. So that's a good little goal line play. I learned something. I tell you what, you can squeeze a lot of juice out of this game the more you play it. I got some ideas. It's going to be a long time before I do another a different dynasty in 06 because I want to see what happens with this one. But I got some neat ideas for the next one. I'm going to try some new things, new formations, new plays you normally don't see me use. There's actually a lot of formations you don't see me use much over the years, so I'm going to see if I can get them going a little bit. But that's a long way down the road. Now, this is a bad kick. This is probably going out of bounds. Actually, a pretty good kick. So the wind was with us. Ah, dang it. Okay, well, somebody's hurt, Kearney. So we probably could have made that kick, but we got the touchdown. That's even better. They'll get the ball here at the 31. Let's go here. That's a terrible throw. Man, should have been intercepted. We'll just call the same play again. I'm also thinking about in my next dynasty running a different defense. I like the idea of trying to do the 3-4, see if I can make that work. Went play action, so I took a shot. Third and long. After two quarters, I don't know. It's like it's not going to matter, but I wanted to see. He is my free safety. Is he my starting free safety? That's sad I don't know this. He is my backup free safety. Okay. The Bruin come out in a bunch formation. Rosano set to go to the air. He steps up. He's That's a good throw. Oh, what a catch. That's a perfect throw, right where it needed to be. Right over the corner's head. I'm going to go back to another zone blitz. I think this is the first time they went past the midfield. Everybody and their brother was meeting him in the backfield. Uh, let's go quarters, break it up a little bit. Do an over front. Ah, went right by him. <laughs> Got to stop, though. All right, back to third and long. We'll go back to cloud. So another third down. Control defense tackle this time. Good defense. Now, will they... Uh, we'll do safe return. I'm worried somebody's going to do something stupid here. A couple of these special teams plays can get glitchy. Players get in the way when they shouldn't. That almost looked like it could have been blocked. Don't get in the way. Then you got those safeties in that play, which I don't like. Okay, two and a half minutes. We got plenty of time. Let's do a PA read from Sprint. We're going zone dime. I may just hand this off. We got the numbers, and he's shifting that way. Pretty good call. Got five yards out of it. Let's go. Second, six. Hey, let's do a QB choice. That's fine. And We're going man here. dime. Mississippi State comes out in the shot. This way. Good block there. I have 
Probably didn't need a juke there, but we got the first. We can run the QB choice from here. This is the only QB choice that's got a pull in lineman. I rarely call this play. But they're going man and dime, so I'll probably just hand this off. Mississippi State lines up for the shotgun set. And he shoved out of bounds. Second and nine. Let's go back to speed. They're going with zone 4-3. Doing that. We'll probably go left. The Bulldog set up in the gun. That's good defense. Just good defense all around. Third and nine. We'll stay here and go back to tight end cross. We're going zone. Ball on the 32. Calls an Try to strike that strong safety if possible. That's right. Good play, man. I saw a big hole right here. That's why I threw it a little early. I should have threw it right here. Right there instead of waiting an extra second. But this guy just got right in front of it. If I could put the cursor. That's just good defense. I wonder if that was even a decent throw. No, my foot... Nicholas was having to die for the ball, so that just wasn't a good throw. I'm trying my best to limit the hard throws for Bradley just because he can't make them all that well. But sometimes, you know, you get them third and long, you got to do something. And that's just a bad throw. Okay, let's get back on defense. They've done their part so far. Hopefully we can stop them here for the half ends. Going. Good stop there. Got three yards out of it, though. Back to quarters we go at a nickel. We'll spread out this time, see what happens. Oh, that should have been an interception. Look how close that was. I was right there waiting on it. Look at that. Oh. Sure was. He some great oh, so close. I'll pick one off eventually. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Halfback draw. Had to come back around to get him. Second and five. I'm going to call the same thing. Just another zone blitz. As long as they got a hanging tight end, I'm willing to take the chance. UCLA. Good stop there. They're trying to their hardest to give it to the tight end. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else down here. Here's the game. Oh, went right around me. So uh, they're gonna try to hurry up here. I don't actually mind them doing it. And they'll probably get a touchdown because of it. And we got another player hurt. Defensive tackle. That stop the clock, though. Thankfully, uh, let's just go with a goofy blitz, and they'll either score a touchdown, or maybe we can get a stop. One or the other. We took a chance and went play action, so they're probably going to go here. I'm going to control the middle linebacker on this one. Oh, my gosh, and they still get the touchdown. <laughs> that's an interesting play call. Well, that's a good way for them to end the half. Now we're only up 10. But that's what happens when we throw an interception. And they go right down the field and throw some score on you. Wow, what a high kick. Gee, did you see that? <laughs> that's the highest kick I've ever seen in this game. That was hilarious. <laughs> right down the middle. I'm actually okay with that. We're gonna let that one go. Okay, we got 12 seconds. We could try to do something here. Deep cross up. We're going zone this time. We may be able to give this to Nicholas. Hasn't had a chance to touch the ball much today. They're blitzing. 
Throws it to the outside. Man, a six points. Take it to the house, son. Go, All-American. Go! Ah! Big spin move. I was fixing to get set. That's a crazy throw. That's his best throw of the day by far. Wow, what a throw that was. Had the spin move, and it was off to the races. I knew it was a one-on-one -on -one situation at this point. This is a good angle right here. Look at this. Ooh, where are you going, son? Where are you going? Number eight in your programs, number one in your hearts. Derek Nicholas, just a sophomore. Okay, that's how you end the half. We'll kick an extra point. By the way, you're taking a chance on a spin move like that. If you get hit wrong, you will fumble it. But I, I timed it right, thankfully. All right, let's survive these next two seconds. They're going to get the ball back start of the third anyways. Another short kick with an, a bad kicker. We got the wind on our side. All right, that was a crazy half. We're up 17, though, that last touchdown. Help stretch the lead. We can look at the stats. We already got 315 yards of offense. Usually they can't do much of anything. We're doing a pretty good job. When he can get a pass off, it's pretty good, but he's been real close to getting a couple interceptions too. Just looking here. I really don't see anything else. Uh, let's go ahead. Get into the third quarter. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. I'll pick one off in time. So close on that last one. I thought it was a guaranteed interception. They love their 11 personnel sets, 21. So we are going to try and keep blitzing. <laughs> I don't know if you saw me here. This is pretty interesting. I had to go around and up. Uh. You keep going play action. I got to take advantage of that, though. Uh, let's go quarters. Out for three weeks. That stinks. So let's look at our defense. I, for, I completely forgot he was hurt. That's our number two guy. Uh, out for three weeks. We got a true freshman. We can burn his red shirt. But I really don't want to. What we can do is I may run some 3-4 just to give our defensive tackles a bit of a break. I may do that on the passing plays. We'll do that. I just don't want to burn that kid's red shirt just because that guy's going to be, only be out for a couple weeks. That's a good little play there. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day. Uh, let's do a three four from here. As a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players executed in the game. We'll do a cover three. Good job. Third and five coming up. Ball on the twenty seven yard line. UCLA sets up in the eye. Drops back to back. Steps up in the pocket. Oh my gosh. Oh he, I thought he was gonna catch that. What a crazy, look at me over here. I'm on the far left. I'm the impact guy on the left. Look at this spin move. I didn't really mean to do this, but look at that. Oh, yeah, that's awesome looking. Almost got the sack. It's a good stop, though. All right, fourth and five. Let's get the ball back. Our QB choices are working fairly well today, so we're going to call a little bit more of that. Oh, whoa, didn't see him coming. That could have been bad. Uh, let's try. Let's go back here, though. We got sweep, lead. I'm not a big fan of that lead play. The triple's okay. You need a quarterback that can really go downhill, though, and I really don't want to do that with Bradley. Let's just do triple, normal. They're going man, and they're doing that, so we're going to definitely keep this. The Bulldogs. Set up in the gun. Got another Tiller marker trying to call me. Ooh, that's, that's good defense. I didn't have time to do anything there. He was blitzing. He was coming through one way or another. So he blew that one up pretty easily. 
Second down, All right, let's try to make some of that up with a, a speed option. I'm still going to go this way. I don't care what they're doing here. That's just a tough play. I guess I could have went left, but that impact guy was sitting there. Third and 15. This is going to be tough. And they're going with man. I actually almost prefer them to go zone. He's coming down. What I may do is... This may get picked. Yep. And... That's just a bad play. They went cover one. I should have threw it harder. I went to the go around the far right just because that safety was on the other side. But I, I threw it too light. I should have threw it harder. Ended up being an interception. So don't ever make that play. That was dumb on my part. All right, let's try to salvage that if we can. Get a stop here on defense. Ooh, that's uh, <laughs> very lucky that didn't work out. I thought they was doing they're doing that bunch play. Ooh, good play there. So it's third and long again, and I forgot I have. I gotta start doing a little three four just to get my defense tackles a break. Would love to get a stop here. He's got all day to throw. And this ain't good. Make a play, somebody. Overthrew it. So, are they going to... We're going to do middle fan. See what happens there. Just fair catch that. Signals for a fair catch. And go out of bounds. Into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick. We're going to go with QB like Choice. Normally, I like to do deep cross up, but Take it easy, coach. You get and that linebacker sitting yeah, that's there. Right, I'm always excited. Let's go here. They go with the option. He's just so slow. If he feels slow, he's got 82 speed. You think that would be enough, but. Sometimes it ain't. All right, they're going man nickel. Who's coming down? Let's see. He's doing that, so we're going to go left. Their impact guy's not even out there. High snap doesn't help things. Jane, I mean, what do you do? That's why you got to get smart centers so you don't have those high snaps. Another third and long. They're going man. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 20. Bradley. That's a terrible throw. I don't know what. Why did he throw it so wide? I threw it as hard as I could. Fourth and one from the. I got to punt it. I'm not going to do it. It's not worth it. Let's run some clock while we're here. I threw. I hit the button as hard as I could and held on to it. And he lobbed it in. Just fair catch it. That's all I want to see. Just don't want him to return it. They're back to good field position. Good play. Ooh. It was almost six points. All right, they're moving the ball on us now. But the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And you can find the two. Thankfully, we've been doing a decent job of keeping him out of the end zone. Play action. Was he out of bounds? Yep, out of bounds. Second and ten. We'll go back to quarters at a nickel this time since they're going four wide. Oh, 
had to go over and make the tackle. All right, it's third and long. Third and seven. Let's see if we can get a stop here, force a field goal maybe. Going pro. Ooh. Good defense. Well, neither quarterback's playing good today. <laughs> and they're going to go for it. Uh, I'm going to do a cloud again. Let's call the same thing. The Bruin. Go with the eye formation. They may run it. They come out of nickel. Backfield can't hear that. Back back. He steps up. He's and a sack. Got him. They try to throw I got around him. Went to the outside of the tackle. Weird angle there. But right up under their noses. Let's go. Do the double running back play. They'll probably go 4 3 again. The they love going 4 3. We're going zone. We're going to run to our left. And yeah, I didn't want to pitch it. I think I was going to do something do goofy if I did. Just a good play on their part. We're behind the chains again. Their, their defense is really stepping up this half. With three Let's run a little receivers. clock. Might as well. It's not exactly a blowout, and you just never know what can happen in the fourth quarter. So I don't mind starting. I don't mind running clock here. It's a direct snap. He's got an opening. Knocked Took the first down with Brown. And a halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good Let's do QB back. choice. The trip's right. over. They're going zone. Nickel. Ooh, I may just do this. Just do a little veer action. A little inverted stuff there. Second and eight. Uh, we can try. QB choice from here. A going man, dime. He's being a double team. We may actually have a decent chance here. We can get some good blocking. I want everybody and their brother on that side. We're going to snap it here. Ooh, everybody and their brother's going on that side. Gone. Six points. Good play call. Ooh, six points. Woo. They went with a cover zero look, I'm pretty sure. We can check that here. They went cover, yeah, they went cover zero. I motioned our X receiver over to the right. I wanted all this grass to work with. And everybody and their brother kept moving to the right. So as long as we had decent protection up front, we was going to have a big gain here. And all it took was to get around that guy right there. And it was off to the races. They almost got to me. Oh, good play. All right, I think that... Put the nail in the coffin. Of course, anything can happen, I guess, but that really helped. We needed that in the worst way. Good to see Jenkins get a touchdown. Looks like our true freshman running backs are going to do okay for us this year. It stinks that our number two defensive tackle is out for a couple more weeks. He'll be ready for the LSU game. It'd be good if we can get full strength for that one. I like that. We got a we got those crazy single digit numbers for, for some of our defensive tackles. There's a missed tackle. Watch the throw outside. I thought he was going to throw it over his head there. Great defensive play by the cornerback. This West, I usually do a good job against these West Coast offenses. That's not why I picked UCLA. I just wanted to pick another Pac-10 team and just kind of go with it. I never really pay attention to who's calling one, unless it's like a, a triple option team. I really have no desire to schedule an Air Force or a Navy. 
even though we've actually, in our what, UNLV dynasty, done a good job against Air Force, had no issues against them. My cover one under front usually does a pretty decent job on most option attacks. Oops. And that may be a flag. I ain't going to call it. Oh, look at this throw. Ooh. I got back just in time. We're going to go for it. We'll go cloud. UCLA comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. May cut inward. Nope. Uh, big sack. Another one. I was able to get around the, off the edge. Impact defensive ends. It's nice to have. We're going to be tough to beat when you got impact defensive ends. If we could just somehow put pressure on the quarterback in most games, our defense is going to do their part. So that was fourth down. They went for it. Didn't work out. Let's do some triple from two back slots. We're going man four three. That's expected. They're doing that. They come out with three wide Ooh, good catch by Brown. Really good catch. We got almost. We almost got two 100-yard rushers. Uh, let's go and do. Let's do the wide receiver sweep play. We're going zone, so I'll probably just keep this. There's no point in trying to pitch it in a crowd. The Bulldogs come out in the shotgun. Bradley on the option. And they make the impact player makes the tackle. Second and six. Let's do QB choice from trips over. Going zone nickel. I think they put in their nope, they still got their first string in there. Mississippi State comes to the line with three wide. We'll run a little clock. Might as well. There's no need to try to rush and score a touchdown. We can put our second string here after this play. Well, brings him down. What yard are we on? On the five. They may. It's third and two. They'll probably go with a goal line. And they're going to. That's expected. All right, they're going zone. And they got their good impact guy over there. We'll still hand it off. Mississippi State comes out in the shotgun. He may blow it up. Or we could get lucky and get a good block. Good block. We'll take it. Six points. Knocked him out of the way. Good block right there. Just enough. Okay, let's go and put in our mass subs. We'll do it on for second team offense. I'm going to wait and man, let's just go ahead and do second, second team both. They still may keep their first string offense out there, but we'll let our second string go up against them if that's what UCLA wants to do. So I hope you're enjoying this type of offense. Hopefully I've proved, even with a team that's like B minus overall, last season, this season, you can run a really run heavy offense from the shotgun with a bunch of different concepts and have a blast with it. Now we got to stay 4-3. No, we got to do 3-4. Forgot. We're already running out of defensive tackles. And we got our second string out there. I forgot about that. Let's do quarters. Yeah, I can make that work. That's fine. The D line shifts over. Almost a flag. Let's do a one high. If I can find one, let's do dog gold. It's second down and five to go. Now, normally I wouldn't do an under front with a 3-4. I would do a pinch and a move over. I just don't have enough defensive linemen on the front to make that work. 
Uh, third and seven. Cover th ooh, cover three max looks a whole lot like cover six. Excellent. They have one in there. Cool thing about the three four is you don't ever have to get out of it. The Bruin line up in an I formation. That's an easy play. The defense that right tackle must have went after the linebacker, and he did. That's what it was. I wonder how it got so wide open. Left me untouched. But yeah, three four. You can stay in it against any type of offense. I think you can make it work. If you've got good enough linebackers that are fast enough that can cover and such, I think that's easily possible. So I'm actually looking forward to trying to 3-4 in that new dynasty. I don't want to do it in this dynasty. I'd rather start fresh with another team. I've been recruiting the three to the 4-3 for this team anyways. So our third string quarterback, he can't run all that. He's 72 overall. Throwing power and accuracy. He's just not all that good, is he? Redshirt freshman Garrett Curry. I remember we're getting after him. I remember we recruited him. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to call out of the gate? If I can find it, let's do a double tight end out. Let's throw a little bit. They'll we're going zone. I wish there was more double out plays like this, but there just aren't. Dude, this ain't good. I'm not looking I don't like what I'm seeing here. Chucks it deep down the right Wide side. open. Wow, I don't know if you saw that or not. I was trying to get to my out right over here with my uh, my other tight end. It didn't work. This guy got caught up right here on the block or on that corner. So I wasn't going to give it to him. So I was fixing to get sacked. I was feeling the heat. Where am I? I'm somewhere. Here I am. So I'm running for dear life, and I'm just kind of waiting for this receiver up top to do something, and he cuts up field. As soon as I see that, you know they're going zone. They're going to stay in their area. Just a good throw. That was a big time play. Good play. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense... We'll do the double running back play. They're going man 4-3. They still got their first string out there. And they're doing that. Looks like we're running to our left. We'll run some clock. Hopefully that linebacker doesn't come shooting through right there. If he does, he may blow up this play real quick. Nope, we hit, he hesitated. I'm just going to stay in and bounds if possible. I like that little cut in by Terry Shansky. I like his agility. You see this right here. I cut in just so he can stay in bounds. A little broken tackle there. Go option give. We're gonna flip it this time, and we'll see what happens. We're going zone, and the linebacker stays over there. That's why I flipped it. I was hoping he was gonna stay on his side, but he didn't. We'll score another touchdown. I don't mind doing that. I got nothing for or against UCLA, but while we're down here, good block, good blocking. And no touchdown. <laughs> he came on through quick. That's a good linebacker right there. And it got out of bounds. Didn't really need to. We'll just call the same play. And, of course, he's on that side. Wesley Brown, three touchdowns, almost 100 yards. He didn't get 100 yards, but that's okay. Are they going zone? They're going zone. I want to keep him over there just because of that corner. And good play for Jenkins. All right. End up being a blowout. For whatever reason, UCLA is just not having a good year. They still haven't won a game. We blew them out here. Now, the Auburn game, I, I don't know what to expect with it. I don't remember how we done against Auburn last year. I have to go back and look. I know we won, but now they run a West Coast offense too, so we may not have no problems there. But you don't know where their impact guys are. If they got impact halfbacks and or a quarterback, then they're going to give us a bigger challenge. Kicks it off. 
I'm really excited about the direction of my website. I hope some of you are making use of it. I'm continuing to add more and more content to it every week, and I'm going for three. I didn't mean to do that. We'll go back to the three, four. And somebody got to him. I wonder what that is. Holding, maybe? We'll take it. We're going to decline it, though. Second 16. We'll go back to the 3 4. We'll just go quarters. You could run all your basic stuff from 3 4 as well. If you could just somehow survive with just three defensive linemen, that's the only thing. And it's a good play. Third and eight. And let's do that. Cover three max. It's cover six. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. Thornburg. And he's got all day to throw. And he's going. Ah, dang it. I shouldn't have took him over. And Jenkins is out there. Why is Jenkins out there? And we got another player hurt. Last play of the game, too. That stinks. All right, 45 to 7. Good win. Had more injuries. Hopefully, we can survive that next couple games. We'll check out some stats. Almost 500 yards. You know, you're doing good when you got about 500 yards of offense. We ran the ball really well over 300 yards. Passing was terrible. I mean, we had a couple big plays, but it just wasn't all that good. But it's not really supposed to be in this type of offense. I have no expectation there. This is the key to the game. Their offensive line, their right side especially, those two true freshmen had no chance against our front line. Third down conversions was bad for both teams. Look at that. Turnovers were down for everybody. I You still they didn't do anything turnover-wise. I had two turnovers, one fumble and two interceptions because – both interceptions were my fault. Either way, it's cool to see some games have low turnovers, especially on the opposing side. Now, let's go to individual. Again, Bradley, 4 of 12. That's not very good. <laughs> two picks. But here's the cool stuff. Jenkins had 102 yards, two touchdowns. Brown had 99. Tereshinsky, 53, 35, 24. We had, what, six guys touch the ball on the ground? Not bad. Look at those averages. Pretty good. Uh, receiving, it was all Nicholas. He got two receptions, but 103 yards out of it. Let's go. Uh, pancakes look pretty normal. And it's so weird. I don't know why the CPU pancakes is always higher than like ours is. But if you remember, we had two offensive linemen uh, that was really close to winning that offensive line award. Lyman Award. So we may have a couple one of these other guys may get that down the road. What's interesting is guard high, wide receiver, had three pancakes. That's because he's big. He can do that to those little corners. Uh, defensively, it is what it is. Everybody done their part. Sanders, six tackles, and he's our other defensive end. But the biggest problem was our injury front. I don't know what happened to the other guy. We can check that here in a minute. Our backup strong safety. UCLA must have been ranked really high to be 27th in the country, 0-2 going in. So if you go here, rosters, injury report. Uh, okay, so that safety is coming back, which is good. The problem is defense tackle. This guy's going to be out for two more games. McCoy's out for another game because we got to simulate this week. So if you go back to the schedule, Hall is going to miss Auburn and Vanderbilt. McCoy is only going to miss the Vanderbilt game. So if we could just get through this unscathed, we'll have a bye week, the rest up if needed. Then we got the heart of the schedule. LSU, Florida, Alabama, and so on and so forth. So come on back. We will take on Auburn. Should be a lot of fun. And I'll talk to you later.